everyone, it's Mrs. Miller, and we are back for another Henry adventure. They just keep coming. Henry babysits. Henry the duck was enjoying a quiet day at home when the doorbell rang. It was Henry's friend, Clara, with her baby nephew. Would you mind babysitting for my nephew, she asked. Henry was not sure he knew how to babysit. It's easy, said Clara. It's my nephew's nap time, and he'll be fast asleep. Ooh. Should be easy. Henry said he would be glad to babysit. When Clara left, he put her baby nephew on the couch and went back to reading his paper. The doorbell rang again. It was Henry's next door neighbor. I saw Clara bring her nephew over, she said. Can you watch my baby too? She'll be no trouble. Henry was a good neighbor, so he said yes. How nice of him. As soon as the neighbor left, the kitten began to cry. Henry was afraid she would wake Clara's nephew. He ran to get some milk for the kitten, but he had no milk. Just then, the doorbell rang. Uh oh, I wonder who it could be. I heard you were babysitting this afternoon, Henry, said another neighbor. Would you please sit with baby Amanda? Henry saw the bottle of milk in baby Amanda's hands, so he agreed to watch her. I wonder why he agreed. Let's see. Henry set baby Amanda down. He took her bottle and poured a little of the milk into a dish. He gave the milk to the kitten and the bottle back to Amanda. Now both babies were happy and Clara's nephew was fast asleep. Ooh, it looks like he's got this babysitting thing down, huh? Suddenly, baby Amanda began to cry. Henry tried burping her, but that didn't work. Maybe she needs changing, he thought but I have no diapers. The doorbell rang again. It was another neighbor with another baby. He's running a daycare now. I heard you were babysitting, said the neighbor. Would you please watch my baby? He'll be no trouble at all. He may just need a clean diaper. When Henry saw the box of diapers, he said he would babysit. In a flash, Henry changed baby Amanda and the monkey too. He mopped his brow with relief. Clara's nephew was still fast asleep. Meanwhile, the kitten had finished her milk and wanted to play, but Henry had no toys. The kitten started to meow. Baby Amanda started to cry. Henry wished he had some toys. Once again, the doorbell rang. It was still another neighbor with another baby. Poor Henry, just give him this ball to play with and he'll be no trouble, said the neighbor. Henry took the puppy and the ball inside. Quickly, Henry tossed the ball to the kitten and baby Amanda. They stopped crying and started to play, but the puppy wanted to play too. So he began to chase the kitten. Uh-oh, I don't know if this is gonna end well. Round and round the room ran the kitten and the puppy. Baby Amanda thought it was fun. She began shaking her bottle, splashing milk everywhere. The monkey saw baby Amanda shaking her bottle. He thought it would be fun to throw things. Lamps and books and flower pots went crashing to the floor. Looks like Henry needs to baby proof his apartment. Windows smashed, curtains fell. Henry could not stop. What was happening? Look at that mess they've created. Wow, all the little babies. At last, it was quiet. 
The babies were tired and they fell fast asleep. Henry looked around. Poor Henry. His house was a mess. The babies were still sleeping when the neighbors came to take them home. The neighbors thanked Henry for being such a good babysitter. Then Clara came to pick up her nephew. She wondered to herself why Henry's house was such a mess. But when she saw her nephew was still asleep, she knew everything was all right. You see, Henry, said Clara, babysitting is easy. What do you think? Is babysitting easy? We'll find out.